Hi there, I'm Dustin Warnke. Welcome to our video today where we're going to talk about two incredible products from varmintlights.com. And uh, one of them's the VRL1 and the other one is the new VRLX. And we'll talk in detail about mounting scenarios for both, about all the different accessories and, uh, and light modules and all the different things that you can get. Now, the first thing we'll talk about is the VRL1. This is an incredible flashlight that's been on the market for quite a while now. Cabela's carries it and Cabela's.com uh, in their online store had amazing success with it before they started carrying it in their retail store. So VarmentLights.com is really excited about that relationship as well as all the other retailers. If you are a retailer or no one that would be interested in carrying this, certainly check them out at uh, VarmentLights.com and get some more information. So. The VRL1 comes with two LEDs in its regular package of red and green. The green's about 250 yard range, maybe a little bit more out to probably 300 yards. The red LED is about uh, 150 yards and the white LED, which you can get as a side uh, LED or as an actual you know, full ultimate package LED that's uh, already included in the ultimate package, so you can get it at varmintlights.com. That gets out to a little bit over 100 yards. All of them are incredible. The new package also comes with interchangeable uh, tail switches, which you have a clicky switch and a pressure switch, which can work off of the back of an end cap uh, that's specially designed to take uh, either the pressure switch or the clicky switch on off switch and uh, work both as uh, on, a, on any kind of mounted platform like a shotgun or a rifle. So the really neat thing about the VRL1 is the quality of the workmanship. I've owned mine for well over a year now and have put it through all kinds of torture tests, you name it, and it, is, it has come out on top every single time. It takes rechargeable 18650 batteries which are also available at the VRL1 uh, uh, website at varmintlights.com and uh, you can check it check out all the different accessories you can get with this you can certainly mount it on just about any gun and um, shotgun and anything with a round surface just about can take the vrl1 or you can use it as a general navigation light i certainly use mine a lot with the white led and the green led and the red led to uh to get around in the woods especially for uh, hunting for predators and uh, hogs and that kind of stuff at night Okay, so the next product we'll talk about is the VRLX. This is a relatively new product available from varmintlights.com. I'm really excited about the different mounting scenarios for this particular flashlight because it is so versatile. It's a little bit smaller than the VRL1. The VRLX is uh, underneath, oh, about six inches, a little bit smaller than that maybe. I don't know exactly. So the VRL X by itself runs with just the basic system of the flashlight as well as a adapter of a three AAA battery adapter or you can use it interchangeably with a 18650 batteries that you can purchase from varmintlights.com or already may have received with your VRL1 purchase if you own one of those flashlights. But the really unique thing about this is it's kind of dual fuel in that regard. It can use either rechargeable or regular uh, AAA batteries, or it can utilize the rechargeable 18650 batteries that are rechargeable on a dual charger. So you can order all of that from varmintlights.com as well. The really neat thing about this is you buy it by itself. You can get your choice of one of three LEDs, the red, the green, or the white and you have those two fueling capabilities for the power. You can choose either the regular triple uh, A battery, three triple A battery routine here, or you can choose the little 18650 battery sleeve. Now, that all being said, you also have some other scenarios here. That's the basic package. You can get either the gun package, the bow package, or both. Let's talk first about the gun package. So this particular flashlight that I have, this. Uh, VRLX I have mounted on a quick detach ring system. So it's a 30 millimeter ring with a little spacer. You can even use two spacers, but it, uh, it comes ready to go with one spacer and ready to go in there. And you can simply get, uh, you get two switches. One's a click on off switch and one is a pressure switch. And those are interchangeable. You simply unplug the bottom of the tail here and you're ready to go to replug that back in or interchange those switches however you want or take off that switch if you want to uh, carry this during transit or anything like that. You can certainly take that switch off and attach it when you get ready to hunt again. I've got a blue AR-15 gun here that varminlights.com was nice enough to lend me and I'll show you how quick 
this goes on with this quick detach spring system on a Picatinny rail on this blue gun, which is really cool. And I'll show you how it works on a uh, scope mount system next. But basically we're just gonna attach it on there, loosen it up, tighten it back up again, and tighten it up like that, you're ready to go. And I've just got this one with green. I've got the clicky switch, which is a pressure coil switch, or it's actually just an on-off switch that's ready to go just like that. Or I can interchange it, and I can do that right now for you, with the pressure switch. And now we're ready to go. you got a pressure switch or a clicky switch with that kit. Now, another option, if you don't have a rail on your gun already, is to purchase the VRLX or VRL1, they work the same way, the scope mount. And simply, this is just a one inch ring that mounts around your scope. I have this on a Remington Woodmaster 742 model. And basically, it works the same way. You simply use the quick detach ring, go right over the rail, just like you did on the Picatinny rail on the blue gun we just did. I'm gonna loosen that up a little bit more, and we're gonna go right over here, and clamp that puppy down, just like that. So what a lot of guys do, and what I talked to varmintlights.com yesterday when I was in their shop, what they do is just simply, and what I think I'm going to do, is get one of these for every one of my scoped rifles, because that makes total sense. You can order these, some guys order as many as six of them for all their scope guns, so all you have to do for whether or not you own the VRL1 or the VRLX, you simply just, you know, interchange them and you can just take out your gun the mount is already on there the rail is already on there pop it off and go that's the thing i love about this system it's so modular it's like an ar-15 in that it's like adult legos you can simply use the same flashlight for whatever number of reasons and the a lot of the parts like i said the battery and the mounts for the most part are interchangeable with the vrl1 the mount that actually goes around the flashlight itself of the VRL-X is going to be a 30 millimeter ring with a spacer in between, and then the VRL-1 is going to be a one inch ring, and so that's one major difference in there. But other than that, the gun mount kit is awesome. So you can choose to go directly on a Picatinny rail like with an AR-15, or a scope mount, or both. That's the beauty of the mounting system. And again, my plan is to go and buy one of these for every one of my guns uh, that have scope on, uh, scope on here and simply have it ready to go so I don't even have to install anything. I just simply go quick detach it and uh, clamp it on and ready to go. So as I utilize this on a gun scenario like this with a scope mount, I can still use either of the, we call these pigtail switches, I guess, where you simply plug into the back main part of the light a click switch or a pressure switch and both of them either turn the gun on off or apply when pressure is applied with your finger. Both of those are going to come with little uh, mounting um, velcro strips where you can just put them right there on the gun and be ready to go. On some of mine I don't even necessarily put the velcro on there I'll just hold it in my hand or um, you can even on an AR-15 style you can even attach it to the pistol grip as well so that's another thing that I learned from varmintlights.com. Another mounting option for the particular guns I use. I just recently got this Air Force Talon P pistol, which I'm a huge fan of, and this is a really, really cool looking gun. I could choose to mount this on the scope of this air pistol, which looks kind of like a sub short um, carbine or, or a, a, a compact rifle, and basically use it like that. Or what I saw one guy do was even mount it to the bottom of the mounting system here, do the VRL1. He had a flashlight like the VRL1 that was mounted directly on the rail down here, or the VRLX mounted on here with the rail as well. So a bunch of different possibilities for air guns, for rifles, and so on and so forth for the gun kit. Next we'll talk about the bow kit and some of the different capabilities with what you can do for bow fishing or bow hunting. Now I am back with my Oneida lever bow. This is an old Screaming Eagle that was given to me by Marty McIntyre with GarQuest and it has an AMS bow fishing reel on it. It's your typical quintessential bow fishing setup, if you will. So there's two different ways that you can set this up for a bow. And I brought the bow fishing uh, you know, setup along because I want to talk about both bow hunting and bow fishing because both of these can work interchangeably. The basic bow fishing kit is going to come with the actual thread screw 
that goes into your stabilizer. So you can certainly use it with your stabilizer and screw it directly in there just like you would a stabilizer. So that's certainly the best way you can use it for bow hunting. It comes already with that and with both pressure switches. Again, the clicky switch or the actual pressure switch. Both of those are interchangeable as well. That's the joy of this design. Now, if you like to save money like I do, could you just use the bow hunting kit and simply get a ring for it, a 30 millimeter ring, and mount it on your gun uh, with a quick detach scenario? Yes, but this one's designed especially for bow fishing, the way that the pressure switch comes out of the side of the actual uh, end cap versus the end of the end cap to make room for the stabilizer screw and the mounting capabilities there. Now, so we can screw this directly in. I'm gonna take the tail pressure switch off. I'm gonna screw this directly into the actual stabilizer. And the only down point to doing this method is that it's not pivotable. You cannot adjust it like sometimes you might want to for bow hunting. For bow hunting, it doesn't matter that much. Most of your you know, yardage shots are gonna be within 30 yards or so, and you don't necessarily need to adjust the light because that light's going to put enough of a halo out to get the job done, especially within the ranges you're gonna be hunting at night with a bow hunting setup for hogs or coyotes or predators or whatever you're hunting at night, whatever the case may be. Even if you're target shooting at night, I don't know, maybe you're into that, I don't, I'm not, but <laughs> maybe you're into target shooting at night, you want a flashlight, that's quite all right. Now, you can certainly choose, again, the basic package of the white LED light, the red LED light, or the green LED light with any of these scenario setups with a basic VRLX. But the cool thing about the bow fishing package is I recommend the white light just because bow fishing works a lot better with white light versus color light. It's just the way that the light penetrates the water and the refraction of the light of the fish and so on and so forth. For bow hunting, green or red are good and green's gonna be your most powerful flavor of bow light. So your, my most powerful recommendation is going to be green. Some hunters prefer to use red. Red has been on the market forever. Doesn't matter, you can get all three if you want to. They're cheap enough modules to purchase. So that's certainly a good scenario. So you have your stabilizer mount with both of the tail switches that you can just simply plug in there if you want on off or if you want a pressure switch. So both of those work the same way. Now, you, they just simply plug in and you're ready to go. The other scenario is what we call the bow fishing mount. And I was actually part of the prototype group that prototype tested this. The mount that I actually have on this bow is not anodized. The, the actual ones that are sold at varminlights.com will be. So keep that in mind, they will be coated. And that's especially for bow fishing. Uh, you're gonna be around the water. Uh, we wanna prevent rust as much as possible on our gear. So that's one reason why varminlights.com is anodizing these. But basically, I'm going to screw this into the basic stabilizer hole that I had. But here is the coolest part about this, and I'm going to get this started. And the neat part about this is that it mounts on the same place you would put your sights. If you want to use your sights still on your bow fishing kit or your bow hunting kit, whatever you're doing as far as you're using your bow, this will mount on the same uh, setup that you have your AMS reel or whatever reel system you have on or it can mount, especially if you're using any kind of a, a regular Zebco style reel uh, in the stabilizer hole, this is also a good, a good idea to have because it mounts in the same mounting holes for all bows. It's just about universal. And uh, basically you can put it where your sight is and still put your sighting, you just need a little bit longer screws and you can certainly get those. Uh, or you can put them where your reel is or you could integrate all of them in there. So depending on your setup, you can certainly do whatever you want to do, but you can make room for this mount. This mount kind of sandwiches in there in between your reel and your uh, the base of your bow or if you use spacers or anything like that you can figure it out very easily. Uh, you just need a little bit longer action screws to get in there and hold everything down and those are available as well with this kit. So basically what you're doing here is you have the ability now with a little wing nut screw here to go up or down with the light. That's something I thought would be revolutionary compared to so many of the other light mounts that only screw into the stabilizer. I personally, when I'm bow fishing, my point of aim is a lot lower than the light normally sets on a stabilizer. I need to aim and have that light aim lower, so I need a directional mount like this. This is exactly what this allows me to do. Simply pivot that light up, pivot that light down wherever I wanna have that light for hunting or bow fishing, and just simply tie this down. Just tighten that wing nut down, and that light's gonna stay 
stay in place. There's not going to be a lot of wiggle back and forth or up and down. That light is going to stay solid. So that's a secondary way to mount a light for bow fishing or bow hunting. Whatever you do, this is a great setup and an awesome little mount. This is a little bit extra, but again, to me, it allows me to still use a stabilizer if I want to or to put something else on a stabilizer and still utilize a light on my bow. And I think it's a very, very incredible and you know, varmintlights.com kicked around all kinds of different scenarios for how to do this. And I think this is the best scenario to possibly do uh, a mount for a light on, in addition to having a rest on here, in addition to having a reel, and in addition to having a sight on here as well. You can still do all of those and still use this light. So that's an awesome, awesome setup. Varmintlights.com, check out the new VRLX as well as the VRL1 light and all the many other offerings at varmintlights.com. For this segment, I'm Dustin Warnke, pro staff with varmintlights.com, thanking you so much again for watching our video and tuning in today. Another phenomenal idea from varmintlights.com is to utilize the light as just a general navigation light. You don't necessarily have to mount it on anything and you can easily carry it around. It has a tail cap that has a little lanyard on it or a little um, wrist strap so you can hang it around uh, your wrist or put it in your pocket. It's very, very lightweight. It's a lot smaller than a lot of lights but it's very powerful. That's a nice thing I love about it. It's when I show this to people, people are like, I cannot believe that light has got that much power in it when I showcase it to them. So that's a neat thing. Another cool thing that you can do aside from the regular, you know, navigating is blood tracking. And this is a UV light that I just turned on to show you. And I'm, I'm wearing a red shirt so I can showcase the purple here. And uh, this does not show that well in the daytime, but in the dark, it shows incredible. And it's absolutely essential for me to be able to use something like this for blood tracking. And I talk about that in another video where um, you know you may not be able to find that animal during the day going at it at night try the vrlx with the uv module and you can purchase the uv module by itself as well as any of the other module lights at varmintlights.com <laughs>